together tonight. Our next guest went head to head with the coronavirus and even attempted socially distant sex. His show is called The Good Doctor. You can watch it Monday nights on ABC. Please welcome Freddie Highmore. <laughs> Hi, Freddie. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. You know, I don't even remember. You were with us right before everybody had to go hide. You, it was in March, and that was that. And, and where did you go? I ended up back in back in the back in the UK. I didn't disappear from the earth. I just went home. That was all. I was concerned you might still be in the green room, but uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just yeah. If I pan over, I can see you on stage. I'm just hidden away here. I see you right now, and you look very wholesome. You look like you, but um, we have a photograph of you uh, from the quarantine, <laughs> and that is you, is it? <laughs> Is it not? <laughs> it is. It is. Those are the good, the good old days of quarantine. The, I let the beard go a little bit, a little bit wild. Usually, it's the clean-shaven look, but for this, they, yeah. Had you ever done that before? <laughs> no, this was the, the longest amount of time I'd had to just let it, to just let it go. Um, but I'm looking a little bit bemused in the photo because I've got. I realized that I had all this red facial hair. The, at the start, I try and pretend to people was just the light. Um, but then I had to own up to the fact because I don't have red hair anywhere else on my body, mm -hmm. you know, like my like my eyebrows, for example. <laughs> um, but uh, Freddie, but then I owned up, and I was like, "This is my hair." Can yeah. I give you a little tip? I'm going to tell you something because I had the same thing. I had a lot of red in my beard, and that was the first hair to turn white. That's what happens. Well, there. I actually admire your beard, so I feel like then that's a promising future ahead for me. Well, you know what? I'm going to pass that along to my beard, and I'm sure he will appreciate it <laughs> later. <laughs> you, it, it also, people seem to think of oneself as much more manly. You get these comments of, like, you know, you're, you're, you're so much more of a man now you've got a beard. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's, it, it's a whole new world. Uh, you might not be familiar with this, but it's because of the paper towel guy. There's a guy on the paper <laughs> towels, and he's very rugged. He's a lumberjack, you know? He's chopping things down with an ax. He's chopping trees down, and then they make them into paper towels, which doesn't seem that rugged, but it is, and it really made an impact on us. I see. No, I'm 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 a very much a newbie in terms of the beards. I was still putting shampoo on my hair and just dribbling it down onto the beard, and I thought that was enough to clean it. Oh, know? is that not? Well, uh, I, some people tell me you could do like special oils, and oh. I don't know. I thought having a beard was meant to just be really easy and no upkeep, but clearly I was wrong. I think you did it the right way because uh, that's how I do it. So uh, anyway, <laughs> Freddie, uh, did people recognize you with the beard, or were, were you able to go around completely undetected? No, it was pretty good with the beard, although the mask was a was a different story. Um, wearing the mask, I think for most actors, was great because no one recognized them. But for me, it was the opposite. They just thought, oh, it's a good doctor. There we go. He puts on the mask. Um, and so, so the mask was, it became this double-edged sword because I I put it on in order to stay safe, but it meant that people came closer to me getting up inside the six feet required thing because they'd be like oh it's you i've come to say hello wow. but if i took the mask off with the beard then obviously it's less safe in many <laughs> many ways but it would mean that people kept their distance probably also because it gave such a crazy manly look they were like oh i can't go near him <laughs> <laughs> when you are working on a uh, medical show like the good doctor do you i assume you have covid tests and uh, do you have them mm. like every day how, how does it go we have them three times a week. Three times um, a week. I feel like I've had, I also did something in Italy just before starting up here in Vancouver. So I feel like I've become a bit of a connoisseur in terms of the tests. I've oh. had the saliva one, the blood one, the throat one, and then two types of nose ones, which is where it gets really interesting for the connoisseurs of tests out there. Yes. You get the, you get the one at which clearly you are uh -huh. <laughs> intrigued. Yeah. This is riveting stuff. No, um, I am. That goes it, no, right it's up. interesting. It is because you're right. There are two nose tests. Explain the difference between them. There's the one that goes up right back, feels like it's in your brain, which yeah. isn't good. But then there's the interesting slight variation on that, which we've got on the show, which is just in the little lower portion of your nose. Like you're picking your nose. Not that I would know necessarily of course what not. that feels like, but, but that, that idea, yeah. You're an Englishman, you don't pick your nose. It's uh, something we do. <laughs> but, Never. But that's yeah. the thing though, I always wonder, because I've had both of those, I've had all of these types of tests, and I wonder if the nice gentle nose one is effective, why are they jamming that thing up into my eyeballs? <laughs> I have no idea. You're what's supposed to be a doctor. 
<laughs> it's become clear through all of this that I'm only very much pretending to be a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys actually were able to address the coronavirus and it was part of the show tonight. Will this be mm -hmm. the whole season? Will that will that go on? It's just the first two, just the first two episodes. Okay. Is there and any then, way um, you could make... And then after that, yeah. Can you make the actual virus only last for two episodes? <laughs> yeah, I feel like Sean's just going to come up, my character on the show, he just comes up with a cure and then it will be great. Um, there's definitely a blurring of, like, reality and fantasy sometimes when playing the show. Like, with the big event this week in America, for a while, I thought they were talking about the good doctor. I thought they were like, oh, you know, America, they've been they've been waiting for months for this moment. And I'm like, I know, like, isn't it great? And apparently records amount record amount of people are gonna be participating. <laughs> people are really invested in it and they're nervous because they don't know what's gonna happen. I didn't want to give them spoilers. I was like, yeah, fair enough. Um, right. right. But yeah, so so um, and then I get why they're nervous, because they want, you know. They hope whatever happens that the country comes together. Um, and that's what I was thought about the show as well. I'm like, <laughs> he, he bridges people, he, he bridges divides. If you anyone know, could do it, it's you. Guy. You're in Canada right now, right? Yes. yes. What are people saying? Are, are people as, uh, is it on at the top of everyone's mind up there too? Um, yes. yes. Yes, it is. Um, it's hard to ignore it, even if the border is closed for the time being. <laughs> yes. Do you feel yeah. that any of us will be welcome up there should we opt to move? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've got, I'm in the spare room in this place I'm renting in Vancouver. There's a little kind of day bed thing. There's room yeah. for one. Oh, if, wonderful. If you want to make it up uh, there, yeah. I would love to bring, I, we can share beard oils and the whole deal. <laughs> <laughs> will you bring up some special beard oil? I'll me? bring up the <laughs> most special beard oils. They're called Crisco. You'll love them. Okay, um, you can have some of my red hair too. <laughs> <right. really perfect. laughs> I need all the hair I can get. Thank you, Freddie. Freddie, hi, more. Watch this show, The Good Doctor. Monday nights, 10 o'clock on ABC. Thanks, Freddie. We'll be right back with Gimme On. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.